Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 57 of Attila's Craft. This is a devlog of my tycoon game, Space Prevention Force, where you try to save the most alien lives by building, researching, and marketing. I will talk about my weekly game progress, show some of my karate training, and we will have fun. That's right, so let's have some fun. This week, I did a lot with the sucky aliens. Hey, what, what's that? They, they got a name. These sucky aliens are now called... Leechers. Thank you to Michael K. Taylor for that suggestion. First of all, this week with the leechers, I added two different types. One which takes away your worker's skill and the other takes away your worker's productivity. Additionally, I have made a few tweaks with the leechers. First of all, they now have a sort of slither animation while moving just to make it look a little bit cooler. I've also tweaked their sprites so now they're a little bit more thick. They will now only affect productivity and skill of your workers when attached to the room, not before, and they will now spawn off screen and move towards the center. Overall, I'm really happy with the improvements. I think they're a little bit more interesting now and won't just feel like an annoyance. They're, they're kind of cool in a way. I also made some improvements to the destroy building functionality because before I really didn't think it felt that clean and polished. And it's still not completely there yet, but it's getting much better. Now I have an animation whenever the room is destroyed for the room itself as well as anything inside. I don't imagine players destroying rooms often and also with the firing workers, which is a whole other problem, but I just want it to be nice if the player wants to. Bye, have a great time. Additionally, the old cursor I had for destroying the building wasn't my favorite. And also the default cursor I made sucks so much that I haven't even <laughs> included it back in the game. Now I have made some new and much improved cursors for the default and also the destroy building, which look so much better. They are simplistic in design, but they get the point across and add more to the polish of the game. In the martial arts and tricking world, I'm trying to rest my left knee. It's a little bit sore, but that's not gonna stop me because my karate ego is a little bit too big. I still trained some front handsprings and I am glad that I record my progress because I did notice last week that I bent my arms way too much. I've been getting some awesome feedback from the notifications of last week, so thank you all of you who left comments about that. Based on some of the comments, I made some improvements to the notifications. The biggest thing I did was add some animations. So now whenever notifications spawn, they have an animation which fades in, but then after a little bit, it will condense into just the icon, so it's not always in the way. If the player then hovers over that icon, the notification will expand revealing all the details. And likewise, whenever the player mouses off of the notification, it will condense back. Thank you, event triggers. I am really liking this because it feels a lot more polished and also it gets in the way less. So notifications aren't taking up a big chunk of the screen. I don't really think they need to, but you also want to see the information if you need it. I'm probably gonna keep making improvements to the notifications, but they are still looking a heck of a lot better. Well, not necessarily looking better, animating better, because I didn't... Well, I changed the design a little bit, but... I'm, I'm rambling now. This weekend, my college hosted its annual hackathon, Profax, and although I didn't participate this year, I did give a workshop on Unity game development. A video will be coming up about that shortly, but I want to ask, have any of you guys participated in a hackathon? And if so, what did you make? Thank you all for watching. I want you to know that I love you, I care for you and I'm there for you. Please, if you need anything at all, feel free to contact me through Discord. My messages are always open to everybody. From me and my fellow commanders, we are saying goodbye and we'll see you in the next devlog. Bye everyone.